cool Eric Clapton lick today. It's a, we're in the key of C, so you can think C minor pentatonic. This is taken from the Cream reunion gig at the Royal Albert Hall. I think it was in 2005. And it's a, it's a turnaround lick, uh, taking you back to the five chord at the end of the progression, and then you go on to, you know, start again on the one chord. So first of all, I'm going to play this um, full speed and then I've got it, um, I'm going to play it half speed as well because it's quite quick. So we'll play it half speed plus I've got the tabs and we'll break it down nice and slow. So that was it full speed. So like I said, we're in C minor pentatonic up on the 8th fret. So you can think of your C7 chord and your minor pentatonic right there. Let's look at this in slow speed. Right, so it's a cool sequence to get under your fingers and you can just, you know, you can use this. It, it can be good as an exercise just to start, you know, ripping through pentatonics rather than just playing up and down the pentatonics like like this, it's good to like, get to these sequences under your fingers and it's really good for building speed and helping with your right hand technique as well as your left hand technique and getting these hands to work in sync together. So let's look at the lick again, um, half speed. Right, so we're starting on to, like I said, it's highlighting the five chord. So we're gonna start on the five, which is the G. B string 8th fret and it starts with a hammer on pull off to the 11th fret. I'm going to start with a down pick and then we're going to come up with our middle finger to the 10th fret of the G string and then we're going to rock back to the 8th fret on the B. So the first part of the sequence Let's look at it again. Let's look at full speed this time. And again, half speed. All right, cool. So there's that hammer on pull off. That's the first part of the lick. I'm going to split this into three. So when we get when we get back to that, the B string. On the, ninth, on the 8th fret, we're going to then come back to the 10th fret on the G. And then we're going to do another hammer on pull off, this time 8 to 10 on the G. And then over to the 10th fret on the D string. So all together we've got. Now when we get to that 10th fret on the D, which is our root, our pick should be facing upwards. We should be on an up pick just on that root with an up pick then we're going to straight away do it we're going to stack this note here and we're going to get the G string also on the 10th fret with a down pick and then we're going to come back up to the 10th again so it's three times that's the next part of the lick so it's all it's been alternate picking starting on a down pick Then we drop back to the 8th fret on the G. Then we do a pull off 10 to A on the D. And it finishes on the same note we started on, on that G. So it's the 10th fret of the A string and that's our G, which is our 5 chord. That's what we're highlighting. Super slow all the way through. It's a great exercise. There's one economy pick you can put in and that's on the last, the last note you play. When you've done the pull off from the 10 to 8 on the D, that lands on a, that's an up pick on that D string pull off. So you can grab the root on the A string with another up pick. That's the only time we really, you know, can do an economy pick. You don't have to, but you can do. 
I would do an economy pick, it just makes sense. And like with any licks, you know, you can just take little bits and pieces of it and make it your own. Like I've seen Clapton a lot do. So he starts off on the, on the same note, hammer on pull off. And then just back to that G and hit it twice. And he's done that to highlight the, the five chord. So any parts of these sequences you can just mix into your, you know, your pentatonic studying. I'm going to play it one more time, full speed and half speed, and then go through it super slow. So full speed. Half speed. I think I've said before, when it comes to this, this, this stack at the 10th fret, Clapton would usually do separate finger, uh, fingers for this. He would go. I don't do that. I just use one finger and roll it over. Um, it, it doesn't really make a difference. Sometimes when you do it with one finger, the notes blend into each other a bit. As when you do it with separate fingers, the notes are a bit cleaner and stand out a bit more. But it's just a great exercise. You know, if you've just been playing in the pentatonics, you can treat this just as a drill and an exercise. Plus, it's a good functioning lick when you want to highlight that five chord. And it's kind of teaching you as well where that five is. You can give that minor third, when you get to the eighth fret of the G, you can give that a little bit of a tweak if you want. can you know stop and pause you can you know you can make it your own you know you could put it at the end of if you was doing a turnaround like this uh, you could put it in the end of something like that rather than um, instead of doing something like that you could put this in Obviously it's a lot faster, but you know, practice these things slowly. You've got to practice them slowly and get them accurate before you can play them fast. I get a lot of students asking me, oh, how do I play fast? Can you teach me how to play fast? And that the, you know, the, 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 there's no secret. You've got to play it slowly and accurately and speed will come naturally. We'll just play it nice and slowly and get them notes clean. Try and get the hammer on pull offs a little bit quick. And then it'll start sort of coming together nicely. All right, that's it for today's lesson. I'll be back soon with more licks and more tutorials. Cheers.